Hello and welcome my friends. Doug is my name and I'm coming to you from Albuquerque in New Mexico and this is an episode about yarn, specifically about Azia Wool's yarns because I thought hey I have to show you what will be in the shop update tomorrow which is the 30th of September if I am not completely mistaken no it's not the 30th tomorrow is the 29th of September sorry yeah I have been super busy out here where I am right now I'm looking over there at the dye pots where some yarns are still cooling you see behind me is drying what I have dyed up this morning this will not be in the shop update uh, today, um, in case you wonder, because it is still moist, of course. And tomorrow, on Friday at five o'clock, I will open up the shop or make everything visible and available to you guys um, that I have been putting in there and specifically and that's what i wanted to start off with i am super excited about my halloween colorway of the year as well as some halloween mini skeins and what's special this year is while well, you may say hmm that's not a lot of yarns that you put in there but i have this colorway which is called the Heart of the Witch. I have it on three different sock yarn bases and I will show you in a minute. If you know my yarns, you will they will be familiar to you. It's Sandia and Taos, which are a superwash merino on four ounce skeins, as well as the Taos is the superwash Coriadale nylon blend also on four ounce skeins and then I have Dreamcatcher which is what a lot of people love. It's the two ply yarn that comes in 100 gram skeins with 400 uh, yards of yardage. Yeah I have had so much fun assembling these and I have my brain has been going Halloween overdrive and I really hope that you will love everything as much as I do. I have taken some really fun pictures. I thought it's definitely way too early to put on my witch hat even though I was tempted because I was digging into the kids Halloween stuff. Um, funny, funny side story. I feel like my daughter was a witch throughout her childhood every year and she's probably say going to say yes yes I was mom I was not really but she was a witch a lot and she was simply adorable but I do love witches not just my daughter on Halloween but witches in general I love the movie with Angelica Houston and I love what's it called Hocus Pocus two of my favorite witch movies I've, as a kid i dreamt of witches a lot don't know where that came from before there were witch movies really yeah it's that long ago <laughs> sorry <laughs> no not sorry not sorry it is the way it is it's been a long time whatever i did not watch witch movies back then it's probably, it probably came from Hansel and Gretel, I would assume. Okay, but enough talking about this. I wanted to show you every, all the, the, the three, my Halloween yarns and tell you a little bit about them. And then also I wanted to tell you, I do have Halloween themed bags zippered bags and i will show them to you and i promise you i will do my best to get them into the shop so if you want to buy some halloween yarn so you can add on a bag without paying double shipping if i'll try my best i'll try my best 
hopefully it's going to happen but those i have not um taken care of in terms of photos and all they're always very time consuming because it's two sides the inside the handle the zipper blah blah <laughs> it's a lot but okay i digress again you can tell i'm very excited and let's get started first of all i wanted to show you something absolutely my favorite Halloween decoration has been for many many years and I thought I gotta show you <laughs> okay that's Halloween and now here comes the basket the I've also decided that every skein will come with a bit of Halloween bling and I'm talking about a Halloween progress keeper. And yeah, this is this is it. The heart of the witch. And um there's green and purple in there and of course orange and black and I don't you all know colors you know what it is but I, I'm mentioning the colors because it's kind of like a a thinking a mind thing that I had in my head where I thought hmm what is the color of the heart of the witch is it green and purple or is it black yeah so that was my thought. And if you are not familiar with the basis, so here again, a little bit, this is Taos. Taos is Superwash Corriedale Nylon Blend. It's, I don't even know, I don't even wanna call it rustic, but it's very, it, it feels different from, merino and i know when people say it's not rustic it really isn't rustic because it's not it does not feel scratchy and most certainly it would never feel scratchy on your feet but the cool thing is that this stuff is kind of fuzzy and um the more you wash it the more the fuzz shows yeah i love towels for socks and it's very durable and i really i've had I've made a bunch of socks uh, with this base. I've also been wearing my Dreamcatcher Halloween socks from five years ago when it's chilly in the morning. And so this is Dreamcatcher. Like I said, this is a 100 gram skein. And um, if you say, wow, I'm so excited about this Progress Keeper just do not have your heart set on a color because i made these i'm in all kinds of colors and i so it's kind of random whatever you will get dreamcatcher like i said is a two ply yarn 80 20 merino superwash merino of course nylon blend and 100 grams with 400 yards and last but certainly not least, this Sandia is what a lot of people love for socks. It is a very nicely plied yarn, very round. Was it solid? I would say, yeah, you can totally use it for anything that's textured because it's gonna show the texture very nicely. Of course, you would not really do texture in a variegated yarn like this again the heart of the witch yeah and then so i've done something for the first time because uh what i thought was man these are maybe not enough 
for two pairs. Maybe they are, maybe not. I think I can get two pairs of socks out of a four ounce skein. But um, I thought I'm going to do this year, I'm going to do mini skein sets. And hopefully then people will be able to get two pairs out of them if they add the mini skein set with five 10 gram minis or they could even get possibly if if you do shorties you might even be able to get three pairs of socks out of one skein which i thought is really a great fun thing and i that's why i have these on all the bases i have them on taos sandia and as well as on um dreamcatcher there are three solids the green the purple and the orange and two variegated yarns the neon purple and black and red as well as the neon green with the black and gray hope you can see that okay yep this is Taos Dreamcatcher and Sandia and there will be a little treat in every bag if you don't want to share, don't tell your kids or your husband or your wife. <laughs> yes, let me rearrange a little bit here. Now you've seen the Halloween yarns and I want to show you the Halloween bags just in case I manage. I have these little accessory bags that are tiny 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 oh, this one last bit last one i think with these halloween cats and on the back they're usually neutral <laughs> these guys Slightly larger. And this, by the way, no surprise, my favorite Halloween fabric. <laughs> Haven't managed to make any sock size bags. So here's sock size. And they are never interfaced. I don't interface my bags because I'm so bad at washing or at throwing the stuff around. It gets dirty and it needs to be washed and interfacing is maybe not the best for that. And um, so it's these are extremely washable, which is kind of, which I kind of really like. And I usually do my handles, all of my handles, I line them with velvet in a matching color. And let's see what's inside. They're all a little bit different, most likely. Ah, love this one. Oh, 
almost the same, different zipper color. Same on the inside here, same. Similar yet different. Okay, you get the drift. Got a bunch of these. Here's another one of all oh, two of these. Here's a smaller one. And I believe, as far as I remember, that this is a glow in the dark fabric. Let's see what's inside here. Ah, the bats. Yeah. And this is actually the largest one of them all. I have loved this fabric so much, but this is also, if you like this fabric, this will be the only one available with that fabric. The back is orange, inside we have the bats. And that's the zippered bags for Halloween. Now, I have had some requests for fiber or questions about fibers, if I get the fibers back into the shop. And so I've pulled out a few last braids of that batch that was uh, fibers from Cactus Hill Farm in Colorado. I feel like I'm not sure if there was any other fibers. Merino Cross, Rambouillet, Wensleydale. Yes, everything from Colorado, from Cactus Hill Farm and processed by America's best, in my opinion. Xylingers, wool mill. All of the braids have different amounts of fibers. So this one, for example, is 87 grams. Then I have this one. That is 82 grams. All of these solar dyed with the power of the New Mexican sun. And I'm a little bit scared because Ashland Bay is shutting down. They're retiring, which is, I'm happy for them, but they were my fiber supplier, unless I had something local like I did here. So I'm not quite sure I wanted to get some BFL um to die but now i'm completely out of fibers after this last batch so here's a smaller amount 80 grams no the other ones were just 82 86 something like that oh here's the largest one this is 125 grams Love this color, gorgeous. Yeah, I haven't been spinning myself because I prefer to do it in the day daytime and I've been doing nothing but studio work, dyeing yarns. So soon, I hope. I forgot about these guys. There will also be 20, 20 gram mini skeins to the shop. I will, 
price these individually. They will be sold as one single mini skein, one single 20 gram mini skein. And I haven't even wound the other colors. They're the same colors that are in the five times 10 gram sets, but these are individually available. If you say, yeah, that's too much. I just want a purple or a green. That's the way to go. And I also will be able to wind these because my husband is a sweetheart and he wound them all into balls. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so you got to wind them from the skein into a ball of yarn and then from there with a mini nitty knotty I get them into this shape and I had so much fun when I made these labels because you probably can't see this but I made the paper I mean this is a, a commercially available uh, design for address labels but I decorated the the sheets so every, she, every one of the tags is going to have a little bit of a different design. That was fun. Yes, I have been having fun. So 20 gram skeins also will be in the shop. And now, let's see. I will reorganize myself. Hold on. I haven't had this much yarn in the shop in ages and I really um, I've, I've kind of changed my way of working a little bit and dyeing so I can have this available for more, for more of you folks out there. And um, I've said it before, but I want to say it again. If you are local and you see something in the shop that you want and you say, hey, I don't want to pay for shipping. Heck yes, either we meet up somewhere or I'm happy to let you stop by and and um, pick it up in person. So I have dyed up a lot of velvet, which is the Suri Alpaca Silk Blend that comes in 50 gram skeins, 328 yards, if I'm not completely mistaken. Yes, that's what it is. And... Um, this is so there's not going to be a ton so if you see a color that you really love i would recommend for you to get it because there's only going to be two per color and um i am currently working on a shawl which i will show you in a second and i have also set aside two skeins of the velvet for myself for that shawl but you have also seen in my podcast, The Birds of a Feather, where I used the velvet instead of mohair, because mohair is not for everybody, including myself. It's just, I, I stopped working with mohair because it just itches me. That's the way it is. But I love, love, love this Suri Alpaca, baby Suri Alpaca, actually, um, silk blend, because it's so buttery soft. So I have tried to come up with a bunch of colors that go with a variety of other yarns, either something that you have at home already in your stash or where you say, hey, I can combine that with your yarn duck. And um, so I, this is Velvet Iris. This is Velvet Lime. Velvet Jeans. Velvet Angel Wings, which matches the yarn that I'm currently working, that I'm currently using for a different project, but in a solid color on a different base. Velvet 
velvet ice. I want to avoid problems in the dye process and that's why I dye only two skeins per pan, which is kind of like them. It, I mean, it's, it takes up a lot of time, but it's okay. It's, it, you want it to turn out right and to, to be um, beautiful and um, professionally dyed. This is Velvet Heartbreaker, so it has this dark icy color with um, the neon greenish color. And there is a colorway that I have in a regular yarn, which is called Heartbreaker, which you're gonna see in a moment. You, you may remember that because a lot of people like this icy water color. Yeah, and this is the last one that is velvet oops pink I hope this is focused I think so yeah yeah and I try not to contaminate the other yarns because I have a dear friend locally who is allergic to alpaca so I make sure this does not touch my other yarns so here i have a new colorway because yes i cannot stop making new colors i have a giant stack of die cards sitting over there where where it says to do what do i do i do new ones because i die up something then I have more ideas and it goes, if one thing leads to the other, but it's fun, it's fun. Yeah, and this is something that I am knitting with right now on a different base. And I will also show you in a second. This is, like I said, singles, singles yarn. I mean, I didn't say singles, I did not. It's Roadrunner is my singles yarn. And this is called Ice Flowers. And I have three in the shop. No, more actually, because I loved it so much, so I dyed up more. <laughs> and then I also have the heartbreaker. If he has broken your heart before, you will remember because he certainly has broken mine. So you're going to say, what's the difference? The, the ice flowers have yellow speckles that this, the heartbreaker doesn't have. And heartbreaker is also a tiny bit darker. Here we have green goddess. flower also on honeysuckle and honeysuckle is a blend of mer superwash merino silk and cashmere I hope you can see the yellow speckles here a little bit So, and now is the time where I wanted to show you what I'm making. I've had this on my mind for quite some time. The Ziggy Triangular Shawl by 
everyone's favorite Huki Locatelli. And I thought I'm gonna make this kind of in a similar concept as I've done the Birds of a Feather, where the garter sections are knitted with velvet, with a fuzzy yarn, and the lace. For the lace, I'm using Honeysuckle Ice Flowers. Cat hair. Oh my gosh. This, my cat loves this yarn. Yeah. My goodness. And this is where I am right now. I'm loving this. Yeah, and so you can see how this turns out. Of course, it's going to be quite different when you block it, but that's the fun of it, right? Okay. I have... Oh, yeah. Here's all my new yarns that I'm so excited about. Here is... Dirty jeans and muddy boots. What do you think? Do you love it as much as I do? Let me show you. Let me turn it so you can see the speckles a little bit better. This is on Sundancer, which is a superwash merino nylon blend, and it has a generous 465 yards. And then, what am I going to show you next? I came up with a series. Not, I'm not. The, I'm. I'm just not. I can't do mystery knit alongs. Bless your heart if you can and if you love the Stephen West knit-alongs because it must be so much fun to join into the fun. But I, I don't know, maybe I had gradients on my mind, whatever. But my gradient here is dyed out on Cozy DK. And it's not even meant as a gradient because... I mean, who wants a DK gradient? I don't know. So this is the lightest one. And it is called Spritz. And here is the next. And this one is called, no, oh, oh, Juicy. <laughs> Had to think which is which. And then a little bit darker, we have my jam. Yeah, like I said, I am, I have made sure that this time I have some yarns for you in the shop. But if you want something, I would recommend to get it fast. I cannot put more in the shop right now because I'm also dying for the yarn store as well as for the knitting retreat that I am participating in at the Ghost Ranch in two and a half weeks, three weeks, three, three weeks. Yeah, so that's where a lot of the others, other yarns go to. And then I have, may I present to you, oh yes, <laughs> this is called Crush, yes, because we got three guesses, yes, because I got a, had a crush on it. And then, oh my gosh, people, this one really 
made my heart melt when I came up with it. I hope you can see this well because it would be a shame if you cannot because it's so beautiful. I wanted something with purple. Somehow I had purple in my mind and I woke up at night and I kept in my head, I kept spinning around the options of purple and the combinations with speckles. And this is what I came up with. And it's that's why, no surprise, it is called Insomniac Obsession. Yes. Be still my heart. That also could have been the name, but I already have a colorway that's called Be Still My Heart. <laughs> yes, I think that's it, my friends. You just may want to know that Insomniac Obsession is available in two weights. This is Sundancer 465 yards fingering yarn. And this is the DK yarn with, it has 7525 Super Horse Merino, 100 grams with 243 yards. Yes, my friends, this is it from me for today. I will see you soon with with a regular a regular oh shit, it's been a long day podcast episode where I will show you all of my current projects and in the meantime I hope you will stop by the shop tomorrow like I said shop update will be available tomorrow Friday the 29th of September at 5 I hope to see you then. Thank you so much for your interest in my yarns. Bye.